Hi guys! In this video, pag-uusapan natin ng example 1 kung paano mag-solve ng problem involving this Polya's 4-step strategy. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Ang strategy made by Polya has 4 different steps. First is to understand the problem. Kailangan maintindihan muna natin kung ano yung sitwasyon at kung ano yung pinapasolve sa atin ng situation na yun. Next is to devise a plan. Kailangan magkaroon tayo ng isang plano kung paano natin aatakihin or paano natin isasolve yung problem na nandun sa situation. Next is to carry out the plan. And finally, we have to review the solution. Baka kasi meron tayong mga na-overlook na steps or overlook na information na kailangan natin i-consider pa. So we have this first example. We have to determine the unit's digit or the one's digit for the counting number represented by 2 raised to the power of 802. So, if you have high-tech devices, pwede mo i-input na lang to eh. 2 raised to an exponent of 802. But the number will be very large at ang kailangan lang naman natin ay yung one's digit. So, first is we understand the problem. We have to understand na ang hinihingi ng problem na to ay yung number format or yung counting number format ng 2 raised to 802. Tapos, titingnan natin kung ano yung ones digit nun. Since that is very tasky, hanap tayo ng pattern. So, ang gagawin natin, yung mga first few powers of 2, isusulat natin, tapos kukuha na natin ng pattern yung kanyang mga ones digit. Next is, we have to devise a plan. Yun na, tulad ng sabi ko, isa-summarize natin iyon sa table. Kung ano man, yung mga ones digit na makukuha natin, ilalagay natin sa table para mas maging obvious kung ano yung pattern na pwede natin makita. So, we carry out that plan. We will list down the number equivalent of each exponential expression. So, we have 2 to the first. Alam natin yun ay 2. Naka-red na ink lang yung mga ones digit. So, 2 to the 2nd, that's 4. 2 to the 3rd, that's 8. 2 to the 4th, that is 16. Pero dito sa 16, ang titingnan nga lang natin ay yung 1's digit, yung rightmost digit ng number. Next, tingnan natin yung 2 to the 5th. Ang 2 to the 5th, 32. Yun, di na ulit na. 2 na ulit. 2 to the 6 is 64, na ulit ulit ang 4. 2 to the 7, 128, na ulit ulit ang 8. 2 to the 8, na ulit din ang 6 dahil 256 ang sagot doon. Let's go further to this last line. 2 to the 9th is 512. Again, 2 ulit ang ating 1's digit. 2 to the 10th power is 1024 for ang ating 1's digit. 2 to the 11th, that is 2048. 8 na naman ang ating 1's digit. And finally, 2 to the 12th is 4096. Again, 6 ang ating last digit. So, malayo pa yung tatakbuhin natin from 12 as compared to the required exponent, which is 802. Kaya naman, sa imbis na ilista natin hanggang 2 raised to 802, isa-summarize natin to using a table kung saan nakalagay dito sa unang column yung exponent, sa pangalawang column yung ones digit. Again, yung ones digit lang yung kukunin natin. And we have to group them depending upon their ones digit. So, yung group 1, lahat yon ay mga exponent na ang ones digit ng kanilang sagot ay 2. Sa group 2 naman, lahat yon ng mga exponent ang ones digit ay 4. Sa group 3, lahat ng exponent na ang magiging sagot, ang ones digit nila ay 8. And finally, sa group 4, yun yung mga exponent na kapag sinimplify natin sila, sa base na 2, ang ones digit nila ay 6. So, anong silbi nitong mga to? Tulad ng nabanggit ko kanina sa early steps ng strategy ni Polya, we will look for a pattern. First pattern na sana na-observe nyo is the cycle repeat after 4 exponents. So, meron tayong paulit-ulit lang na 1's digit, which is 2, 4, 8, and 6. Pagkatapos ng 6, babalik ulit sa 2. 4, 8, 6, tapos babalik ulit sa 2, and so on. That will repeat every after 4 exponents. So what we're going to do here, kung mapapansin ulit natin dito sa group 4, lahat ng exponent nila, which is 4, 8, and 12, lahat ay multiples ng 4 or lahat ay divisible sa 4. So, iisip tayo ng number na malapit sa 802 na divisible sa 4. 
Ano kaya yun? Pause this video and think for a while. Anong number ang malapit sa 802 na divisible sa 4? Okay, that number is 800. Dahil ang 800 ay divisible sa 4, pwede nating masabi na itong 2 raised to the 800 ay nasa group 4. Dahil nasatisfy niya ngayong condition that its exponent is divisible by 4. So, ibig sabihin kung andito ang 800, ang 801 ay nandito sa group 1 at ang 802 ay nasa group 2. Therefore, we can say that the 1's digit of 2 raised to 802 is 4. See, using po yung strategy, kahit hindi na tayo mag-simplify ng 2 raised to the 800 second power, makukuha natin ang 1's digit niya which is 4 nga. Last step is to review the solution. We can also get from the table this information. One way to do it, one way to analyze it is to divide the exponent 802 by 4. Tapos kukuhanin natin yung remainder. Yung remainder, yun yung natitira sa division, di ba? Kung ang remainder ay 1, then the number falls in group 1 and the 1's digit is 2. Kung ang remainder ay 2, and it falls on group 2 and the 1's digit is 4. Kung ang remainder ay 3, nasa group 3 yun, at ang 1's digit ay 8. Pero kung walang remainder, then the number falls on group 4 at ang 1's digit niya ay 6. Balikan lang natin yung previous slide para ma-justify natin kung saan galing itong mga remainder na to. Take for example, 9. Diba ang 9, pag dinivide natin sa 4, this is 2, this is 8, 1. May remainder na 1. So, lahat ito may remainder 1. Sabihin naman natin 10. 10, i-divide sa 4, this is 2, 8, 2. Lahat ito may remainder na 2. Ito yung nabanggit kanina sa ating review part. Ina-explain lang natin. 11 divided by 4 is also 2, this is 8, 3. Lahat ito may remainder na 3. And of course, ito, wala ng remainder. So, let's do that. 802 divided by 4. 802 divided by 4, we have here 2. This is 8. Makakancel out na to. 0. 0. This is also 0. 2 here is also 0. Hindi pwedeng i-divide. Mas maliit. So, the remainder is 2. That's why we can say, tama nga, nasa group 2 ang ating exponent na 802 and its 1's digit is really 4. So that's it for the first example on how to use Polya's 4-step problem-solving strategy to solve different problems. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.